so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? Yeah. Bella, you almost made me hit you. You almost made me hit you. All right, y'all. I try to put her a couple of suggestions. Say, put her bed up there. She'll sit up there with you. I'm trying it. Okay. She actually been sitting up there chilling though in there. She looking like, what the heck is going on? My bed is not usually here. Yeah, it's right there, Bella. And we in the thing. We in the thing. We got office space, y'all. Been requested for a while, actually. <laughs> and we're here. Guys, things take time. T-I-M-E. You got to put... The heck was it? Um, wait, wait, wait. Things take time. So we're here at office space, y'all. Anybody out there with an office job that has space in there, I can come chill with you. You know. Anybody working in the office? I'm looking for friends. I'm really, literally, legitly looking for friends though, because <laughs> my subs is kind of my friends. I have one friend and a brother. My friend has been my only friend for a long time, two years. It's named Jordan. Y'all seen him in one of the videos. Jordan. Uh, other than that, we got Bella now. And we got you guys. And we got Office Space. Load up. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Bella. Tell them like the video. Tell them like the video. And subscribe to the channel. Please. Can you tell them like the video and subscribe to the channel? It help. Let's get it. She ain't. Bella, she, can, she usually can talk, guys. We have conversations. I don't think she wants to reveal it to the world yet. It's nothing I can do. You don't want to reveal to the world that you can talk yet? I know I'm not tripping. We have conversations. I know I'm not that lonely, guys. See? <laughs> this type of music make you want to move. <laughs> and move in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic might be hard. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston? Yeah! I didn't even know, y'all. We just watched her in We're the Millers. If you haven't seen that reaction, go check it out. It's on my other page. It'll be in the link in the description. I hope she get naked in this one, too. Bella, I'm sorry. <laughs> Plug your ears. Baby, I've got, got my, my pistol point cocked. Funky ass drop. And, and let, let your, your homies know who done it. <laughs> That's how you pull up. You gotta realize something, nigga. Up inside of me. How can't he talk? lock the door when a black person came by? Come on, man. You gotta be more hood than that. That's me in traffic. Oh, he looked like he got a lot of paperwork. Old computer. Oh, he ain't gonna be able to get nothing done. I get you a Mac. Corporate accounts payable. Nina speaking. Just a moment. Hello, Peter. We have sort of a problem here. You apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, I forgot. Mm. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Okay? Yeah, no, I, bye I, bye I have the memo. I've got it. He looked like he'd be happy to go around the office bossing people around with a cup of coffee and a dimer glasses. Milton. Hi. Damn, uh, Milton. Could you turn that down? It's told that I could listen. To the radio at a reasonable volume from 9 to 11. Yeah, no, no, I, I know you're allowed to. I, I was just thinking maybe like a, you know, personal favor. I should be able to listen to the radio while I'm collating, uh -huh. so I don't see why okay. I should have to turn down. You should be able to see why, for sure. 
I'm not picking on him, guy. He could be able to see the radio waves. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I know that's bad. So we're putting new cover sheets on all the TPS reports before they go out now. So if you could go ahead and do that from now on. We got the memo, man. We got it. Peter Gibbons. Yes. I have the memo. <laughs> Somebody called and said the same thing. Why does it say paper jam when there is no paper jam? One of these days, I, I, I just kick this piece of out the window. Do be mad all day. <laughs> It ain't been a good day for him. Nah, nah, naga. Nigga. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's him. Michael Bolton? Oh, is that your real name? Yeah. Michael Bolton. <clears throat> no one in this country can ever pronounce my name right. It's, it's not that hard, David. Nae Nanajad. Nae Nanajad. Yeah, well, at least your name is what? Michael Bolton. <laughs> Until I was about 12 years old, and that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. Yeah, Go by Bolton. Mike instead of Michael. No way. Why should I change? He's the one who sucked. What's up, G? Want to go to Chachki's? A little early. I, mean, I gotta get out of here. I think I'm gonna lose it. Sounds like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> they got out of there. <laughs> I went up too. So can I get you gentlemen something more to drink? Or maybe something to nibble on? Some pizza shooters, shrimp poppers, or extreme fajitas? You can't Just be coffee. Fail. Okay. Sounds like a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Lumberg's gonna have me work on Saturday. I, I can tell already. I'm gonna end up doing it because, uh, because I'm a big pussy. They're gonna find out the hard way that I'm not a pussy if they don't start treating their software people better. That's right. I don't understand. The program a virus that would rip that place off big time. Yeah. There she is. Holy crap! She is beautiful in this one. What year is this movie? Just walk up to a oh, and ask her God, she is so fine. Oh, 1999. I'm gonna see this uh, occupational hypnotherapist with Ann. Dude, thinks it might help. Sometimes I think that I get thinking that she's cheating on me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Hey, right. <laughs> Nothing. I think that the guy might actually be able to help. I mean, he did help Ann lose weight. Peter, she's anorexic. Yeah, I know. I don't know about hypnosis, yeah, well, I don't guys. Think any I don't. Occupational hypnotherapist is going to help you solve any of your problems. What's this I hear about you having problems with your TPS reports? Yeah. Didn't you get that memo? Oh, guys, not you too. Screw the memo. <laughs> We're all screwed. That's what. They're going to downsize in a tech. That's what their staff meeting's all about. Tom, every week you say you're going to lose your job and you're still here. Not this time. I bet I'm the first one laid off. Just the thought of having to go to the state unemployment office and stand in line with those scumbags. Unemployed people aren't scumbags. They're just in bad situations. That guy that invented the pet rock? You see, that's pet rock. what you have to do. And you can make millions, never have to work again. You think the pet rock was a really great idea? The guy made a million dollars. It was a great idea then, too. I had an idea like that once, a long time ago. It was a jump to conclusions, Matt. You see, it would be this Matt. Conclusions written on it that you could jump to. <laughs> that is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. Yes. Yes, it's horrible. This idea. Tom was so happy uh, about look, it. Uh, I gotta get out of here. You guys later. <laughs> if I still have a job. You start working on that match. <laughs> no. You used to ask us what you would do if you had a million dollars. Didn't have to work. I never had an answer. I guess that's why I'm working in Inatech. PC load letter? What the f does that mean? Hey. Take it out of the check. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do with a million dollars. I have no clue. That's a good question. Shitty and good question at the same time. Hey, Peter, man. Check out Channel 9. Check out this chick. Lawrence, can't you just pretend like we can't hear each other through the wall? Oh, sorry, man. If you want to talk to me, just come over. The wall's too big. Hey, <laughs> oh! Stay here. Oh, YouTube, y'all can't see this. But they're perky. Doesn't that chick look like Ann? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I get the feeling like she's cheating on me. Yeah, I get that feeling too, man. She's the type of chick that just. Ugh. I'm sorry, man. Look, I I, I, I need to I, meet you know, I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> oh, I gotta wake my ass up. 
6 a.m. every day this week. Doing the drywall up there at the new McDonald's. Let me ask you something. When you come in on Monday and you're not feeling real well, does anyone ever say to you, sounds like someone has a case of the Mondays? No, man. I believe you get your ass kicked saying something like that, man. <laughs> I like him. Lumberg's gonna have me come in on Saturday. I just know it. When a boss wants you to work on Saturday, he generally asks you at the end of the day, right? Duck out early, turn off your answering machine. You should be home free, man. That's a really good idea. He's a genius. What would you do if you had a million dollars? Let's hear it. Tell you what I'd do, man. Two chicks at the same time, <laughs> man. <laughs> you had a million ah! dollars, you, you'd do got two chicks great at the same idea. time? Damn straight. I always wanted to do that, man. Two well, what about you now? Time. What would you do? Besides two chicks at the same time? Well, yeah. <laughs> I know what I'd Nothing. do with a million dollars now. I would sit on my ass all day. I would do nothing. But you don't need a million dollars to do nothing, man. Take a look at my cousin. He's broke, don't do shit. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> He's the funniest one so far. <laughs> Two chicks at the same time. <laughs> he is a genius. Somebody get this man an Oscar. He thought of the best idea ever. Oh. I'd like to go ahead and welcome uh, a new member to our team here. This is uh, Bob Slidell helping us out a little here, asking some questions, maybe seeing if there are some ways we can make things run a little more smoothly around here. And remember, next Friday is Hawaiian Shirt Day. If you want to, go ahead and uh, wear a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. <laughs> They've moved my desk four times already this year, and I used to be over by the window and I could see. They make me, if they, if they take he my, the phone. my paper, they're not like, <laughs> All right, bye. I'm not working on Saturday. We need to clear. Hello, Peter. What's happening? I need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday. Too. Damn. Okay. Thanks. Screw Dean. So I was <laughs> Every single day of my life has been worse than the day before it. Is today the worst day of your life? Yeah. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. You both to help. <laughs> Is there any way that you could? I think I can help you. There we go. I want you to do something. I want you to relax every muscle in your body. You're beginning to feel your eyelids getting heavy as you slip deeper and deeper into a state of complete relaxation. Your worries, cares, and inhibitions will be gone. Three, way down. <laughs> he almost had me. I was going into a little trance. It, it worked. He got some type of something happened. I felt a little better as he was saying that though, y'all. If y'all went into that relaxation with me, I feel a lot better. Hi, I'm up, it's uh, Bill Lumber. He's again. not coming in. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you knew that we did start at the. Um, Usual time. Yeah, it's yeah. Hi, it's Bill Lumber. Yeah, it's me again. Uh, I yeah. Was away from my desk for a minute. First, you just sit there while Doctor Swanson dies. Then you just walk out of the car and embarrass me in front of my friends. And don't blame this on. Damn, I'm glad I didn't slip all the way into that trance with him. He died. Rest in peace. I've been cheating on you. We already knew. Hi, I'm Peter. Hi, can I help you? Would you like to have lunch with me? Are you are you serious? I'm gonna go next door and get a table, and if you'd like to join me, uh, no big deal, all right? Okay. I like this new him. What you like do it. in Inatech is you take the specifications from the customers. Why couldn't the customers just take them directly to the to the software people, huh? Well, uh, I'll tell you what. It's my job. Uh, That's because why. you must physically bring them to the software people. Well, man, come on, yeah, lie I mean, or something. It's your job. Sometimes. Well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers so the engineers don't have to. I am good at dealing with people. Can't you understand it? What the hell is wrong with you people? I... 
That didn't go you well. Michael. Go. Just, <laughs> yeah. just, just keep going. I love his music. I do. I'm a Michael Bolton fan. Look, I'm going to keep money, it real. I don't... Bam. I know Michael Bolton, but I got to figure out what song he's saying, y'all, so I can realize the Michael Bolton. I'm not, I'm not real. I'm not about to keep going through like I know his songs. I know he's a singer. I, where's my phone? I just got to see what song Michael Bolton sings. Hold on. He popped right up. That's crazy. I put an M-I. He popped right up. Michael Bolton. How am I supposed, how am I supposed to love without you? Oh, that's the, <laughs> okay, I had to look up at when a man loves a woman, okay, this is Michael Bolton, well, Michael Bolton is a dog. Michael Bolton is. He got good hair too. I, I knew of his name. I just had to go see who he was, y'all. That was killing me. <laughs> Michael Bolton. <laughs> For my money, I don't know if it gets any better than when he sings "When a Man Loves a Woman." Oh, but just you must check really that love one his out. music. Yeah, he's 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 pretty good, I guess. What's your favorite song of his? <clears throat> I don't I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I sort of like them all. That's <laughs> so Ryan up the yeah. exact same way. Let's get down to business, Michael. <laughs> you know, you, you can just call me Mike. You better grow with this Michael Bolton thing. It might keep your job. <laughs> this place is really nice. Yeah, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> that's one of my my pieces of flair. Fifteen pieces of flair. Really stupid, actually. So, where do you uh, work, Peter? In a tech. Uh, yeah. What, what do you we do? don't know if he worked there anymore. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna go anymore. You're just not gonna go. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna quit? No, -uh, not really. Uh, I'm just gonna stop going. <laughs> kind of the same thing. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do about money and bills and? You know, I've never really liked paying bills. I don't think I'm gonna do that either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now nah, the, hypnot the hypnotism got him going crazy now. What do you want to do? I want to take you out to dinner. And then I want to go back to my apartment and watch Kung Fu. Do you ever watch Kung Fu? I love Kung Fu. Channel 39. Totally. I want to get you something to eat, and then we can go to my house and watch Kung Fu. I never tried that. I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and move your desk again, it, so... But no. Oh, there it is. What? Here, let me just go ahead and get that from you. The stapler, too. Thanks a bunch, Milton. But Bye. Milton. Milton about to explode. I set the building on fire. Well, Milton, don't. <laughs> Milton, don't go to jail. Oh, what the hell's going on, man? People thought you were going to come in here and start shooting. What were you doing? Michael, I did nothing. You know, you're supposed to be having your interview right now with the consultants. The who? The who? The consultants? We're just talking about you. You must be Peter Gibbons. Would you walk us through a typical day for you? Let's hear it. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, I use the side door. That way Lumberg can't see me. Sort of space out for about an hour. Tell him but, uh, space out? <laughs> yeah. I just stare at my desk. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual Work. It's a good job then. Uh, Peter, would you let me tell you something about TPS reports? The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. When I make a mistake, I have eight different people coming by to tell me about it. That's my only real motivation is not to be hassled. But what if you were offered some kind of a stock option equity sharing program? I don't know, I guess. Listen, I'm gonna go. Uh, it's been really nice talking to both of you. Right, I hope your firings go really well. Okay, thanks a lot. Great. Yeah. Good spirit, man. I like the spirit and the thong flip-flops. Listen, uh... We ain't got nothing to talk about, buddy. <laughs> we need to talk about your flair. 
Well, like Brian, for example, has 37 pieces of flair on today. Okay, so you you want me to wear more? Okay, that's what the flair's about. It's about fun. Yeah. Okay, so more than, yeah? <laughs> Double up on flares. You do want to express yourself, don't you? Okay. Right, so there's three more people we can easily lose. Tom Sinkowski. He's useless. Gone. Oh, no! Sounds good to me. Milton Wadhams. Yeah, we, we can't actually find a record of him being a current employee here. He was laid off five years ago, and no one ever told him about it. But through some kind of glitch in the payroll department, he still gets a paycheck. We fixed the glitch. So he won't be receiving a paycheck anymore, so it'll just work itself out naturally. He gonna be working for free. That's, that's not, they getting over now. Peter Gibbons. That's just a straight shooter with upper management written all over him. Ooh. They want to give yeah. him a raise. <laughs> uh, he's also been having some problems with his TPS reports. Yeah, Bill, let me ask you a real quick question here. Uh, How much time would you say you spend each week dealing with these TPS reports? Uh-oh, now they're questioning him. Your job on the line yeah. too, buddy. <laughs> Took his job? A real gangster ass nigga plays his cards right. <laughs> you ain't a gangster ass nigga cause you white, but you a gangster. Bikes. <laughs> and niggas always got a hot cap. Oh, I thought he took his job. Which real you know? gangster ass niggas don't sleep. <laughs> okay, he a gangster ass nigga. What the? Don't a TPS report. Ask the memo. <laughs> Fish is the memo today. <laughs> now all I got is you gonna... Dog, he is thugged out. He don't give a <laughs> crap about nothing. What you gonna say? I'm playing so, Tetris. So, Peter, let's come back another time. I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. Uh, no, I wasn't but... aware of a meeting with them. Yeah, they called me at home. Sounds good, Peter. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this all fixed up for you. Peter is the boss of the damn place now. Lumberg is a... I, I didn't receive my paycheck this week. Um, you're going to have to talk to payroll. We're going to need to go ahead and move you downstairs into storage B. Okay. You could stay... It, excuse me. Yeah, I, I believe you have my Milton. stapler. Lumberg, you a punk. You got punked out, so you gonna pick on Milton. We're gonna be getting rid of these people here. Uh, first, Mr. Samir Naga. Oh Naga. no, that's his boy. Naga. Not gonna work here anymore anyway. Oh. <laughs> Mike Bolton, <laughs> he's gonna miss him. You're gonna no, lay what? off Samir and Michael. Peter, what we'd like to do that's... is put you into position to have as many as four people working right underneath you. So you're gonna fire Michael and Samir and you're gonna give me more money? Wow. Huh? Wow. Duh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come on, you Let's go. Michael, quit fingering the copy machine. You got your job on the line. That, you little fuck. What are you doing tonight? That virus you're always talking about, right? The one that could uh, rip off the company for a bunch of money. Yeah? What about it? Well, how does it work? Every time there's a bank transaction where interest is computed, and there are thousands a day, the computer ends up with these fractions of a cent, which it usually rounds off. It takes those little remainders and puts it into account. Wow. This well, why don't we so get Michael, this in motion, Mike? What's to stop you from doing this? Yeah. I got a good job. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> what if you didn't have a good job? Cock gobblers. Cock gobbler. <laughs> and you, you haven't been showing up and you get to keep your job. Actually, I'm being promoted. What? It's not just about me and my dream of doing nothing. It's about all of us together. Human beings were not meant to sit in little cubicles staring at computer screens all day, filling out useless forms and listening to eight different bosses drone on about mission statements. That does sound shitty. Five years of your mid-twenties now gone. Michael, let's make that stock go down. And let's take enough money out of that place so that we never ever have to sit in a cubicle ever again. They're gonna rob in the tech blind. Right? Of course it works. That's not the point. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how to install it. I don't know that credit union software well enough. But Samir does. Get your resume ready for what? For another job where they can just fire you for no reason? That's right. I, if I'm lucky. I'm not going to do anything illegal. Illegal? Samir, this is America. <laughs> Everything is illegal, Samir. They stole America. Uh -uh. I'm just talking crap. The they would ever do is they would put you for a couple of months into a white collar, minimum security resort. They have conjugal visits there. 
Really? Unemployment or early retirement? What's it gonna be? We can't go to unemployment with those scumbags. These conjugal visits, you can have Sorry. sex with women? Yep, I'll do it. That's what I'm talking about when I talk Peter, about America. Samir. But listen, before we go any further, all right? We have to swear to God, Allah, that nobody knows about this but us. Don't worry, man. I won't tell anyone either. What the fuck is that? No, don't worry about him. He's cool. <laughs> he hear everything. <laughs> Gangster. Gangsta niggas on alert. The big headed nigga that's dipping. Sound bumping ain't that. They soundtrack different on this movie. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I guess it was. What'd you do with. Hey, man. And check it out. Last week, right after he found out he was getting laid off, tries to kill himself by running the car in the garage. Is he dead? Oh my God! Oh man, check Tom. it out. That wife of his comes home early. I, I, I mean, I mean, reverse. You okay, Tom? Then as he's looking at her, decides he wants to live. Love you. But then, as soon as he backs out of his driveway, Damn. he gets slammed big time by a drunk driver. But check it out, he's gonna get a huge settlement out of this, like oh. seven figures. He's gonna throw a big party this weekend to celebrate. <laughs> I bet. Dude, he getting right. seven figures out of this incident? Yeah, there. I can't believe they have security escort us out. Not like we're going to steal something. I stole something else. Call it a going away present. A printer. Screw them reports. Re report this! Mm -hmm. Die, motherfuckers, die, motherfuckers! Nothing but troll and touch on subjects, mother's freedom. They just <laughs> can murder the printer. On the verge of knocking it over. There's my keys. To every day. <laughs> Monday morning, we're gonna check the account balance. Everything will be okay. Good night. Back up in your ass with the resurrection. Were you guys celebrating last night? Oh. I'm not really at liberty to talk about it. He gonna tell her. All right, he so tell her when everything. the subroutine compounds the interest, oh, right? crap. You all these. So you're gonna make a lot of money, right? Yeah. Right? That's not yours? Uh, well, it, it becomes ours. How is that not stealing? I don't think that I'm explaining this very well. Um, <laughs> no, it just seems wrong. It's not wrong. Inatech is wrong. Inatech is an evil corporation, all right? Tchotchkes is wrong. Get up in the morning and you have to put on a bunch of pieces of flair? Yeah, but I'm not about to go in and start taking money from the register. Well, maybe you should. No, it's not a good idea. Michael, Samir, how you doing? Rob, Michael. How you doing, Michael? Right. Samir? Uh, he doesn't Samir. got Samir. Peter. <laughs> how are you? I'm glad you forgive me for not getting up. <laughs> Come here a minute. I want to show you something. Well, what do you think? It's a prototype. Huh, that's uh listen, I, I heard about your, your settlement. Congratulations. I know how you get depressed about your job and all. If you hang in there long enough, good things can happen in this world. I mean, look at me. Tom, <laughs> <laughs> um, you damn near had to die to make something good happen. I still wonder how he get paid so much and he wasn't at work. Or maybe he was on his way to work. I don't know. No minimum security prison is no picnic. He done went and got Johnny no Cochran as a lawyer. Right now. He good. Hey, isn't that the girl that works over at Tchotchkes? Yeah, she's with me. Make sure you wear yeah. a rubber, dude. Hell no, that's Jennifer Aniston. Why's that, Drew? She gets around. All right. Oh, I hate guys like this. Lumberg, Dirk. <laughs> Lumberg. Do you believe that crap? Yeah, well, maybe it wasn't such a good idea for you to sleep with Lumberg. Really? That's my boss. He's my unholy, disgusting pig of a boss. He's not that disgusting. He represents all that is soulless and wrong. What do you think you are? How dare you judge me? But at least I never slept with Lumberg. Okay, that's I'm done. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't let that go with you. You slept with Lumberg. I'm not judging. But I don't like him. Okay. Say hello to Lumberg for me. Hell, Lumberg, Dirk. Oh. Oh. Peter, what's happening? Uh, could you give me those TPS reports ASAP? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he hitting her with a cup of coffee. He got Lumberg know what he doing. He just, one leg up, 
<laughs> Lumber stroking her with one a cup of coffee. He's still worried about the TPS report during sexual activity. I see why he got the raise. Talk. Do you know what this is about? I'm counting and I only see 15 pieces. Why don't you just make the minimum 37 pieces of flair? Thought I remembered you saying that you wanted to express yourself. I do want to express myself. That's one flare right? for you right There's there. There's flare, yeah. okay? <laughs> and this is, I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. Eh? Available oh, 305,000 already? Shit. What happened? What happened? You tell me, Michael, it's your software. Yes, it's your software. You said the thing was supposed to work. Technically, it did work. No, it didn't. It did not work, Michael. Okay, all right, let's try not to get pissed off at each other, all right? Let's just calm down. Let's try to figure this thing out together before it gets any bigger. 300k they good 100k a piece we good <laughs> the company gonna be pissed here peg you want to get everybody started there thanks everybody really I, I really really appreciate it it's very special okay but last time i didn't receive a piece and i was told that just I just pass okay milton you better eat one of these pieces milton grow a pair and just say i'm not letting this pass Milton don't get a check, don't get a piece of cake. They doing him dirt ball. Damn. Money back. Just hand them a check for the exact amount they're missing. Maybe we could launder the money. That's a great idea. I think Coke dealers do. Okay, all right. Do we know any Coke, Coke dealers? dealers? My cousin's a Coke head. Close enough. Milton? Yes. What's happening? I wanted to say, hey, Milton, you know what would be great? No smoking, eating, or drinking in this area. Take care of the cockroach problem we've been having in here. No, that's really not my job. And I, I, we got a big problem. Big. Some major glitch in accounting. A lot of money missing. Oh, crap. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, but that's the last straw. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Because they've been doing Milton so wrong the whole movie. I hate to see him like this. I said something in the beginning of the movie. I feel bad for even saying that now. I can't believe what a bunch of nerds we are. We're looking up money laundering in a dictionary. Yeah, well, you guys can both eat my ass, okay? Hey! I can't believe Joanna slept with Lumberg. You didn't know that? A couple years ago, before he moved to Atlanta. The inner throat guy? The young guy? Yeah, who'd you think I meant, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Oh crap! So she didn't Who's sleep that? with Lumber. Well the All right, nobody panic. The boss probably Lumberg. just Lawrence. Good evening, sir. My name is Steve. I come from a rough area. You used to be addicted to crack? Yeah. Um. <laughs> we can use you. Look, I'm very sorry. You just give us the name of one drug dealer. I mean, I could talk to him. I have good networking skill. I, I lied. Stuff I said about being a crackhead just helps me sell magazines. He sounds educated. Software engineer. Uh, uh, I make more money selling magazine subscriptions than I ever did in this road. You're, you're not going to tell anybody about all this stuff we told you. I mean, we know a lot of the same people. They got the magazine. What am I going to do with 40 subscriptions to Vibe? He got the <laughs> We're screwed. I think there's enough evidence all over that building to link us to this. We're going to federal pound me in the ass prison. <laughs> I, I don't want to go to any prison. <laughs> That's not a good prison to go to. I'm going home. Me too. Peter, what y'all gonna do? <laughs> this is a bad situation. On the plus side, y'all got 300,000. Y'all can leave and start new lives. I don't know if that's enough. You wanna come over? No thanks, man. I don't want you fucking up my life too. <laughs> <laughs> and in my door is that you have committed against oh, the <laughs> Samir Nan Nanada Jibat to a term of no less than four years in a federal pound me in the ass prison. And you're a very bad person. I don't even want to imagine what it's like going to pound me in the ass prison. Or P M I T A P. We abbreviate it. Hey. She so work at Flingers now. <laughs> Switched up. You're not working at Chotsky's anymore, huh? I flipped off my boss. Some customer. I might be going away for a while. Uh, to jail. I'm on my way now to return the money and leave a confession under Lumberg's door. 
Man, I want to apologize. I had no right to get pissed off at you about Lombard. I don't know why I can't just go to work and be happy. Most people don't like their jobs, but you go out there and you find something that makes you happy. True. True. If you could give it another shot, I promise okay, you, Joanna. Just hug me. Where's the kiss? Are we get a kiss. Yeah, there we go. Get a room, you two. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that guy. <laughs> he might be doing coke or something. You did it. <sighs> All right. He took the blame. He a real one, though. He a real Mr. one Lumberg for doing told that. Me I still haven't received my paycheck, and he took my stapler. Mr. Lumberg should be here any minute. Mr. Lumberg. We just go sit it, at your desk, but, okay? Okay, but I... I, I, he, I'm, Milton is at his last straw. Y'all better stop playing with him. He said, okay. Uh, it's my Milton. Line. Milton, there go your paycheck on the floor. <laughs> Who is a big payday, too? Ooh. Hey, Peter, man. So I might be going away for a while. Yeah, I know. Watch out for your cornhole, bud. <laughs> He's a okay, good Lawrence. guy. That's a good... Last thing to say to Peter, make sure his cornhole stays safe because he is going to PMI. Call me an asshole. Oh, Milton burnt the place down for real. Milton warned him. <laughs> oh my God, I cannot believe he really burnt it. What in the world? I wonder if Milton picked up the uh. The checks. Or did he just leave it sitting on the ground? I hope he picked them up. Michael. Hey, man. How'd you like your new job? It's not too bad. Not too bad. How's uh, Penetrode? Intertrode. Intertrode. Yeah, right. <laughs> so you sure you don't want us to get your job? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. It's so bad, huh? Can I? I asked for my tie and Milton living his Ola. best life. Grains of salt on close the end of my sandwich again. I won't be leaving a tip. I could shut this whole resort down. He could. <laughs> I could have this place condemned. I could put strychnine in the guacamole. There was salt on the glass. Big grains of salt. Milton is dangerous, y'all. <laughs> Milton is dangerous. That boy is dangerous. <laughs> so so Milton got the money. He out in Honolulu with a Hawaii. He got the money, obviously. Guys, nice. moral to the story is, if you don't like your job, you can always set up some type of thing to rob them for pennies, you know. You don't always have to work there. Rob them blind. Replace the money. Hope the building burns down so you don't get in trouble. So all the money that was stolen just disappears. The company doesn't look into it anymore because the building's burnt down. That's still a large amount. They gangsters. Matter of fact, they real niggas. These three niggas is dope. They, they were three of the realest niggas out, if you think about it. These niggas robbed their bosses. You know, they they killed the printer. I don't. That's the first time I ever seen a printer get murdered, beat to death. It was, I kind of felt bad. You know what? TPS report this. <laughs> oh my god. Um, anybody with office jobs out there that hate it, I would like to know that watched this movie and felt the same way, like, ha, ah, if I can just rob this job, job blind and quit. We all have jobs we don't like. Oh, well, I can't. I love watching movies with you guys. So I I love my job. This is, the, I think this is the best thing in the world. So, yes, fortunately, I have a job that I love. And I also have a side job that I actually like, too. It keeps... You know, keeps me going, meeting people and talking to people, keep me sharp. So, yeah, don't do anything you don't like, man. Life is short. That's why that guy died. I sat there and almost slid into that trance with him. I don't know if I would have died. I don't want to talk like that. 
but I was going off into it. I felt my body tingling, my hands getting numb, everything. I just, I'm watching the movie, so I had to stay alert a little bit. If I was able to slip into full relaxation, guys, I might not be here. So, I'm here, Bella. I made it. Let me go walk her. You hear her yelling at me. She's waiting for her walk. I watched the movie. I'm about to take you. I'm taking you now. I'm about to. The next one, y'all. Love you guys. Thanks for watching, man. Thanks to all y'all. Y'all the realest. Matter of fact, all my supporters, y'all the realest niggas out there. How about that? Even though some of y'all might be white, a lot of y'all, y'all still real niggas. Can that be? Till next time.